Hi, this is Hannah Tan reporting for the Moody David Report at the TFWA World Exhibition and Conference in Cannes. I'm here with Frederick Lafont, who is VP Prestige Europe, Middle East and Africa for Elizabeth Arden. So, Frederick, first of all, welcome to Cannes. And I wanted to know, how do you feel about the atmosphere of the show this year? The atmosphere, I think, is amazing in Cannes, as always, um, but especially this year. You know, it's a second year after the COVID that uh, we have the opportunity to gather partners and uh, retailers and uh, experts from the industry. So uh, there is very positive energy, a lot of uh, positive outlook coming as well, and uh, people, you know, willing to grow the categories, which is exciting. In the Elizabeth Arden space, actually, right now, there's a lot of stuff going on. As you can see, there's a red door behind yeah, us yeah. and there's flowers everywhere. Can you tell us a little bit about the event tonight? So we are going to organize a, a cocktail with mm. our partners, uh, distributors and retailers in order to, uh, you know, to gather as a team to have a good, positive moment. We're not going to do slides, presentations, whatever. <laughs> it's just having a good moment to celebrate uh, the business, which is doing super well for us this year and then to uh, engage them on the outlook for, for, for next year, for 24. I mean, speaking about business, let's talk about business yeah. for a second. What is the big focus for Elizabeth Arden in Cannes this year? As always, I think we are trying to be constant. The focus, I mean, Arden was born as a skincare brand, so the focus is mm -hmm. on skincare, definitely. And when you look into skincare, it's more on the anti-aging and the ceramide uh, capsule collection that we have. And we are launching an amazing new collection called HPR mm -hmm. and plus retinol which is uh, bringing some benefits within uh, seven days. So uh, it's going to be quite unique on the market and we have a very high expectation on this uh, new innovation uh, to come in, uh, in EMEA especially. Amazing. I mean, another thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm sure it, you know, our readers for the Moody David Report have seen our numerous stories about the Travel with Arden campaign, which is a really colorful and fun omnichannel campaign that has been popping up all over the world. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So, you know, we are in a category which is all about uh, product benefits, but we know that in travel retail, you need to create an experience and uh, to create excitement. When you have one hour, you know, before boarding, you just don't want to see a product, you want to have an experience. That's mm -hmm. what we are trying to do with the Arden uh, uh, experience. This is something that we are going to continue to do, I think, in the coming, coming years. It's really about creating an atmosphere which is going to uh, uh, give the energy for the for the consumer to uh, to come and buy the the brand definitely. I'm here with Revlon President International Charles Waters to learn more about the values that underpin the Elizabeth Arden brand. So hi Charles. Hello. First of all, we're standing in front of this very vibrant red door. Can you tell me a little bit more about what this what this means for the Elizabeth Arden brand? So the red door is an iconic symbol for the brand. It represents the first Red Door Spa that was uh, opened by mm -hmm. Elizabeth Arden in New York in the Fifth Avenue. And it brings back that heritage of spa services into our skincare brand. And it also highlights um, the uh, incredibly important um, um, symbol for a, for a woman opening um, her own spa 100 years ago when that was a unique situation. Mm -hmm. So we're extremely sort of uh, linked and bonded to, to, the, to the Red Door. Um, interestingly, we actually have a partnership column with Elizabeth Arden called Through the Red Door, where we feature different women who are showing, who are empowered within the travel retail industry. So there's a lot of synergies Absolutely. there. I mean, speaking of synergies, obviously Elizabeth Arden is part of the wider Revlon group. Um, in your view as president, um, what do you think the role is the role that Elizabeth part, Arden plays as part of the wider group? So Elizabeth Arden plays an extremely important role for us. We are a beauty company. We are, our purpose is only in the beauty industry. We have different brands in different channels and Elizabeth Arden is our premium prestige brand, uh, skincare, makeup and fragrance, three pillars to master our luxury and prestige market. For you as Revlon, and this is from a travel retail perspective, how important of a channel is travel retail for you? Well, travel retail is extremely important. It showcases our brands in a unique environment. It is extremely important because of the growth mm -hmm. that we had in the past. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. in the past three years, we've seen a lot of 
um, um, issues in the channel. We're seeing a strong recovery. We're extremely excited. It's a dynamic industry, extremely important for us as it is uh, a growth lever, mm -hmm. but also a, a way of bringing excitement and, and new innovation to, to, to a lot of consumers. Thank you so much, Charles. So can you leave us with the final message for the travel retail industry who's watching this today? Well, we're excited with beauty, we're excited with the future, and we're extremely excited to see travel retail rebounding. Thank you so much, Charles, and thank you for watching.